This South African chef is making the entire internet drool, and it's all because of her insane cooking skills that have tons of TikTokers hooked. It's also no surprise to many people that because of her insane cooking knowledge, she can easily make her own herbs and spices from scratch. Yet the best part of her cooking content is that she is the one who harvests all of the fresh ingredients from her own farm. But despite her TikTok fame, she suddenly found herself in the middle of an intense legal controversy. She claimed that there's another cooking influencer who has been stealing her content. So is her content really being stolen, or is she just too paranoid? Oh, Nezwa Mbola is probably one of the most enticing South African content creators out there because her TikTok account has tons of cooking ASMRs for everyone to enjoy. Because of this, she has earned a whopping 5 million likes and more than 600,000 followers. In fact, all her followers are completely stunned by her unique way of living as she's become insanely viral for her super sustainable lifestyle. Oh, Nezwa uses ingredients that she harvests herself, and there's no doubt that all of these come from her farm. Because of this, she inspires tons of people to take up gardening and farming too, as this way of life is better for the environment and better for our stomachs. But what really keeps people hooked is her seemingly limitless craving for cooking anything delicious. You heard that right. Onezwa really has a passion for soul food and believe me, everything that she cooks tastes as good as it looks. In fact, no ingredient is safe from Onezwa's touch. From simple vegetables to even leftovers, there's definitely nothing that she can't cook, and that can't be further from the truth, as she has recently cooked up some controversies with another food influencer. Yep, that's right, because just like some of her ingredients, Onezwa just got caught up in some internet beef. She low-key blamed fellow South African content creator Nara Smith for stealing her food content, even without naming her yet. But internet detectives are quick to connect the dots, and they eventually succeeded in confirming that Nara is definitely the influencer that Onez was talking about. In a now-deleted TikTok video, Onez will claim. For, for months now, I have watched a very, very popular content creator use my ideas. And again, I'm not the first person to do anything. They have continuously used my ideas to get views. Onezwa also added that she doesn't get paid for her content, as she explains that influencers in South Africa don't make money through getting views. But here's where it gets spicy. Onezwa also claimed that Nara created a boba video immediately after she posted her own boba video. She said, That would be fine if it was a coincidence, except it's a coincidence that happens very often, so is it really a coincidence? And it didn't stop there. She also accused Nara of coincidence Incidentally, doing a cream cheese and mozzarella video immediately after Onezwa did one herself. The controversy between the two grew online and eventually, Nara noticed it in a random Instagram post. She commented that she has no idea who Onezwa Mbola is, nor is she the first or the last person to make boba. But little did Onezwa know that things were about to go south, because she was surprised to see that Nara Smith sent her an email, and it was actually a legal notice which she shared on X. The letter said, I am writing to address a serious matter regarding your recent statements accusing me of stealing your content. You have publicly claimed that I stole your videos related to boba and mozzarella cheese, which is untrue and damaging to my reputation. These allegations are entirely false. Well, whatever the case may be, be, we can't deny that all of their food content is for everyone to enjoy. Although a lot of people agree with Nara, others have taken Onezwa's side. But what do you think?